First Corinthians 11, verse 23. Whew. Just amplified, brother? Of course. Look at that. My Redeemer is. Yeah, you gotta read that verse there. For I received from the Lord himself that instruction which I passed on to you. Now, see, this is the second time we hear him talking about something that was passed on to him. Mm -hmm. Okay? He talked about the communion before he started talking about the resurrection. <laughs> oh, how many chapters did he back up? Uh, this is 11. This is chapter 11. Right? He was on 15. He was on 15, okay. All right? Yeah. So, he received this. I, for I received from the Lord himself that instruction which I passed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this represents my body. The body, the body, the body. We represent the... This represents the body. Now, we're eating, you know, a ritz. Don't, don't be hating. <laughs> Okay. It could be bread. It can be any kind of bread you want. It can be cheeses. It can be potato chips. It can be whatever you have at your house. It's not what you eat. It's how you eat it. We're not eating this because we're hungry. We're eating this because we're, we're, we are remembering that our Lord and Savior, on the night in which he was betrayed, had us on his mind. He went to the cross, not on his behalf, but on ours. He went as the sacrificed lamb of God, not for his good, but for ours, so that we could enter into relationship with God. God was missing us. You know how when you see, girl, I ain't seen you, and I've been missing you. Imagine God. After man fell, he was saying, mm, I miss my people. I want my people back. I want fellowship face to face with my people. Jesus, I need you to go down there. I need you to be born of a virgin. I need you to suffer as a, I need you to suffer as a human. And then I need you to take on the sins of a world so that I can have my man back. This represents us. He took the bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this represents my body, which is offered as a sacrifice for you. He didn't say it was offered as a sacrifice for me. He said it's offered as a sac. My body is a sacrifice for you. I'm taking your place. Do this in affectionate remembrance. In other words, don't be thinking about this. Oh, poor Jesus. Oh, what he suffered. Oh, no. He said, do this in affectionate. Oh, I'm so thankful. Lord, you did such a wonderful thing. Oh, you love me so much. You love the Father so much. You brought us back together. Thank you, Jesus. Take. Eat. Amen. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant. I now have a different kind of relationship with God. I have a new relationship with God. I have a relationship where I'm not just saying, oh God, I say, oh daddy. I now have the blood of God running through my veins. I now have the character of my father running through my veins. I now have the mind of God in, in me. I now have his character. I now have his 
way of thinking. I don't have his way of doing things. I'm not saying, well, that's impossible. I'm saying all things are possible to him that believe. That's what's running through you right now. This cup represents my oneness with him. This cup is the new covenant, ratified and established in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in affectionate remembrance of me. Take, drink, eat all of it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are symbolically proclaiming the fact the, of the Lord's death until he comes um, again. Yeah. And church and friends, he's, he's coming, coming again. again. You be prepared. Saints, stay ready. Friends, Get ready, get ready, get ready. He's coming. Prepare yourself. Get in the family. Get in this ark of safety. Get in this ark of the covenant. Through faith get in through faith in Jesus Christ. This is for everyone who will believe. Friends, I need you to believe. I don't want to be in this thing without you. We need God's house to be full. Friends, we need you. We want you. God's desire is that none should perish, but all should come to, to rep repent today. What you waiting on? Today is your day of salvation. Today. Jesus, be my Lord. I believe you are the son of the living God. Come abide in me. Live in me. I will trust in you always, in the words of Gary Oliver. I will. I make a decision to follow after you, to hold on to you with all that's in me, with confidence in your ability to save me to the uttermost. 